Hello, beautiful, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And this day was a very, very successful day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. Beautiful black people. Know that Trump, Donald Trump, have told more than 24,000 lies in three and one half years. And the racist, white, Control mass media. Those white racist reporters, investigators, lackeys have allowed him to get away with it. The only way to stop Trump's lies is to check him in real time. And none of those white folks have the courage to do that. A black woman a few nights ago, a few days ago, was born with a chronic illness that she has to take medication for. And if she does not take the medication, she will die. So she asked the question to Trump, why are he trying to kill the pre-conditioned benefit that allow applicants with applicants with pre-medical conditions to get insurance under the Affordable Care Act. And Trump tried to interrupt this black woman to suggest that he did not do that. And he is not doing that. And she checked him in real time. She says, in ba- essentially what she said, is shut up and let me finish my question. She said, shut the fuck up and let me finish my question. And Trump did just that. The only way to stop Trump is to check him in real time. And no white folks have the courage to do that. They are all lackeys. And most of them are in agreement with what Trump is doing. Hence is why they will not attempt to check him. And know that when Trump and the Republican Party say that they are in favor of every one American citizen having the right to vote, they are lying. It is the Republican Party that have created all of the voter ID laws that will prevent black folks and other non-white folks from having easy access to voting. White folks, especially those Republicans, are not in favor of having everyone vote in any election because the white racist Republicans have figured out that the less American citizens that are allowed to vote, the greater their chances are of winning elections. These Republican-led state governments have figured out how to stop black folks and other non-white folks from voting. Hence, the voter ID laws and all of the other tactics that they use, like having ex-felons 
ex-felons in the state of Florida would have to pay all of their court levied fines before they can vote. In other words, they have to pay a poll tax. Just another way to stop black folks and other non-white folks from voting. When those white racist Republicans say they are in favor of peaceful protest, they align. Colin Kaepernick did a very peaceful protest. The racist white folks vilified Colin Kaepernick. They ostracize him from professional football. And he's still ostracized from professional football. He sued them and accepted a $10 million settlement. But he was still, he was still prevented from practicing the profession that he loved was playing professional football. When those white racist Republicans, just recently, they were all over television professing how they support peaceful protests, yet 93% of the Black Lives Matter protests have been peaceful, have been peaceful. And the ones that have not been peaceful have been infiltrated by right-wing white supremacy, white boys, to cause troubles, to start fires, to burn buildings, to loot, etc., etc. Nevertheless, those racist white Republicans will hone in on the 7% of the Black Lives Matter protests that was not peaceful. And they will say, looting, burning, and violence will not be tolerated. But they will never say 93% of the Black Lives Matter protests across this country have been peaceful. The Republicans are not in favor of peaceful protests. They will try to shut it down, just as they are trying to shut down the 93% of Black Lives Matter protests that are peaceful. Just as in the late 50s and the 1960s, white folks, Every day, we're devising resistance, ways to shut down the peaceful protests of the civil rights movement, Dr. MLK Jr. and his followers. Even the FBI, the federal government, was in cohorts with local government and state government devising ways to shut down the peaceful protests of the civil rights movement. They will always deflect to some other entity regarding Colin Kaepernick. They deflected to some ridiculous ideal about dishonoring the American flag disrespecting soldiers, which had nothing to do with why Colin Kaepernick was kneeling. But the white folks latched on to that. The racist white folks latched on to that. And that's what they propagated. Just like they are propagating in today's peaceful protests that 
the protests are about violence and looting and burning, etc., etc. When those white racist Republicans say they are in favor of in favor of equal rights, they align. They have consistently created policies to limit the rights of black folks and all other non-white folks. Do you see how they resisted and fought affirmative action? They devised ways to assure that affirmative action did not advance black folks. Instead, it advanced white women and immigrants that were non-white. That is the tactic that they use to neutralize affirmative action so that black folks born and raised right here on this plantation called America would not be advanced, enhanced on the, the, that affirmative action program. They say they want everyone to have health care. Yet, it is the white racist Republicans that are still in court today trying to eliminate the Affordable Care Act. They do not want non-white folks to have health care. Even centuries ago, those white folks, their ancestors felt the same way. Immediately after the Civil War, after the Civil War, white folks devised ways to keep black folks unemployed so that they could not have access to health care because white folks, racist white folks, tied the health care to employment and is still tied to employment today. Hence is why there are 40 million Americans without health care because of COVID-19 and the unemployment that COVID-19 has caused. White folks do not want us to have health care. White folks do not want us to vote. White folks do not want us to peacefully protest. White folks do not want us to have equal rights. Those racist white Republicans do not want us to have justice. Look how they are doing all that they can to stack the appellate courts, the Supreme Court, with right-wing ideologues that are white supremacists. When you hear that word, right-wing, it's just another code phrase for white supremacists. Our Supreme Court and our appellate courts, federal appellate courts, are stacked with these right-wing, these white supremacists, assuring that black folks and non-white folks will never get equal justice because every level of the justice system is loaded with white supremacists. And these white supremacists are assuring the Republican Party that black folks and all non-white folks will never get equal justice. When, when racist 
white Republicans say they want equal justice. They align. They align when they say they are not racist. They are consistently trying to keep us from voting. They are consistently trying to keep us from protesting. They are consistently punishing us more severely for the same crimes that white folks got probation for. Those white racist Republicans do not want us to have equal rights. They do not want us to have equal justice. And those white folks will consistently deny that they are racist. But yet, they are trying to deny black folks and all non-white folks all of the above that I have mentioned. White folks do not want black folks to be equal citizens. They want black folks to be subservient. They want black folks to be marginalized. And they want black folks to be controlled. They want to keep their knee on the necks of black folks, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. That's all I have on this one.